Oh yeah, I yeah, definitely I, want to speak to I wanted to, to you. yeah. Uh, your black, uh, black son. Yeah. He has my number. Okay. Yes. Okay. Could you? Well, you all about to go on the yeah, air. Yeah, we about to go on the air. Yeah. 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 Uh, write it down. Give her, write give it her down. a note. Oh. Tear a piece of paper. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, What's your number? 404. Uh-huh. 808 808 mm -hmm. 5 1 7 7 mm -hmm. and that's God is the star of the show. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So Keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Setting myself right out of the black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So I gotta be made up too. So I gotta you all mean that you all mean that you all mean that you all mean. Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So I gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays. And studying on Saturdays, mm -hmm. studying myself right out of the book. black atheist, black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show, so that gotta be made up too. So I that that you all mean that you all believe in. Make us believe, black atheist, black atheist, black atheist, black atheist, black atheist. Black atheist, black atheist, black atheist, black atheist, black atheist. Oh yeah, <laughs> black sun in the hizzle, for shizzle dizzle. Got another episode of Black Atheists of Atlanta where we deal with topic and discussions from a non-religious, non-spiritual, basically non-spooky perspective. And I want to introduce my guest, Pam. Introduce yourself. Oh, hi. My name is Miss Flanagan. All right. Alberta? Uh, my name is Alberta Parrish. All right. All right, sisters. Now, you know, because I've been getting a lot of flack. And y'all don't never have no sisters on the panel. So I picked two of the best. You know, we are uh, definitely going to deal with a hot topic today. Um, to vote or not to vote. You know, in the black community, you know, this being election season, you know, Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, you know, going at it. And, you know, we're dealing with politics, you know, we're dealing with the Arab uprising over in Tunisia and Syria and Libya, Egypt. Um, Dealing with Hillary Clinton, says she's about to retire. She just like had enough. Um, dealing with Mick Romney and the uh, Tea Party, you know, they, they want their country back. And so we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with corporations um, voting in secret, like Alec, you know, Enron. We got Halliburton's. We, we can go down a list. Um, we're going to deal with the Illuminati, the second half, you know, who, who are they? You know, you always hear, you know, and it's going to tie in the whole voting thing because you always hear deep discussions about voting, why we should and why we should. And somehow or another, the Illuminati comes up. And so I want to start off with Pam here. Pam, now you, uh, huh? Oh, we we talking? We we're right here. Okay. You know the whole voting thing. You know people. You know we fought. You know during the civil rights the vote and. You know that night they got voter suppression and you know you got. People they just don't want to vote. You know so I mean you know it's I mean. You got two sides. They either all for vote or not for voting. So um, my question to you is um. Basically, I mean, what's the benefits of voting? That's a good question. Well, I mean, still, why should I vote? 
The reason you should vote, first of all, period, is because your vote really has power. Okay. Now, what kind of power? That's the question. Okay. See, in every, even if I was to vote for a, I have a, I'm in the sixth grade, and I'm going to vote for the president of my sixth grade class. Right. My vote actually has power on who is going to dictate who is going to lead me. Now, because we're not talking about this so-called secret organization right now, I'm not going to go over there right now. We're just going to stick with a very basic okay. question. Your vote actually has some power. Okay. Some power. And your vote do count. What specific powers do they have? For example, in my, um, in my particular community where I live, uh -huh. I could choose to vote for who is going to be my council representative. Now, the key is choosing a person that's going to represent you and represent what your thoughts and your beliefs are. That's the problem why people don't get out and vote. Now, if I know Black Sun is for gay marriage, uh -huh. and I know Susie Q is not for gay marriage, and I have to decide on who is going to who would I rather be on my superintendent board? And if I'm for gay marriage, I'm going to go vote for Black Sun mm -hmm. because most likely he's going to be choosing some of the ideals and uh, policies that I agree with. If I'm not for gay marriage, I'm going to go and choose Susie Q. So therefore, the object of voting is really to choose a person that is going to represent you and your ideals and your policies. That's the key it, there. It's just not that simple because I could be. But it is very simple because sometimes you have to choose what's more important to you. Uh -huh. See, because gay marriage may be the top of my list, mm -hmm. whereas unemployment doesn't Jobs. really matter uh -huh. because I've always had a good job. Health care doesn't matter to me because my good job provides health care. Mm. But gay marriage is at the top of my list. Wow. So therefore, she may not have all the things that are important to me, but she's against the most important thing to me. So therefore, I'm going to choose the person that is for the most important thing on my list. She may not be for everything that I'm for, mm -hmm. like so raising taxes in my neighborhood, because mm -hmm. I'm paying the highest taxes on the block. So I have to pick and choose what's most important. Okay. So therefore, I may have some power in choosing the person that I want to represent me in those policies and rules. And therefore, I know that She's against gay marriage, therefore I may can come to her and write up a little document and say, put this in, no gay children in elementary school. And she write that bill up for me. Mm. That's how voting works. That's why they call them your constituents. And they also know that she knows I have a good job. She knows I go to a prominent church. Therefore, she may do some of the things I want her to do. So therefore, she knows I can help fund her election. So voting has power. People just don't know how to use their power to make their vote work. Oh, interesting. Alberta, you hear some Well, uh, you know, I see no problem with President Obama supporting gay marriage. Okay. I have no issues against gays, lesbians, transgendered okay. people. Um, I have a gay friend, as a matter of fact. His name is Chance. Okay, but and, I mean, you my, know, my thing I, is the voting, though. I mean, yes, yes. The, okay. Well, my take on the voting is that I choose to not vote. Okay. I'm an uncommitted voter at this point. Although I voted for President Obama in okay. 2008, I choose to not vote again ever in life because right now I don't trust the government. I mean, the government has lied to us so many times until at this point, I, I no longer believe that the government is, is the answer okay. to all our problems. I think that centralized government is the root of our problems right now in America, right. to be honestly, to be honest. And, you know, right now, both political parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, I feel, have ruined America economically. I okay. think that both parties need to be abolished, and mm. all power should be on the state level. And that, that is my opinion at this point. But even on the state level, you would have to have some type of voting system, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so you're not so much against the, it's just the people, the administration. Yes, you could say so. Okay. You could say that. Okay, okay, so, okay, I'm about to er, kick it up a little bit here. So we started off a little light here. And so since um, you brought up uh, a good point with centralized government, because I'm going to allow both of y'all to, uh, and let me, let, me de let me define this real quick. Centralized government puts all power and responsibility in hands of one person. That's centralized government. Now, decentralized government spreads the responsibility and powers among more people. Okay. 
So, Pam, you talked about belief systems. Okay. You know. Now, you know, this is the Black Atheist show. You can't have a Christian on here and just let you go light there. You know, I know y'all believe in a centralized government, right? That being Jesus, being the one ruler of people, you know, coming back to earth and ruling, being one person. So, you know, my, my thing is, is, is Jesus looking for a second crucifixion? Because we're born in a decentralized society. And most countries, you know, they overthrow them by showing them the decentralized government, basically. And they're showing that most people across the board, whether they be black, Chinese, white, they prefer a decentralized government. And so based on the teachings of your Bible, it teaches not only a theocracy, but a centralized government. Do you find that to be problematic or? I find that not even the fact, because you asked me, was Jesus coming back for a second crucifixion? Of course not. No, 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 I said he's coming back for a second crucifixion. I will crucify him if he comes back, talking about a one government. Okay. Meaning in Revelations, it talks about he's going to be the supreme ruler, right? Okay, first and foremost, you said you don't want to talk about Jesus, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. No, I'm just talking about centralized government. No, because if you talk about Jesus as the one ruler, the king of kings and lord of lords, coming back in the end time, ruling this as all the power upon his shoulder, you have to go and understand when you talk about a one world government, we're already working toward a one world government right now through the prophecy that's already been written. They've been can, trying can, can to... Can you show me an so, example? Because I'm America you, has a decentralized I'm a, government. I'm going to show you an example right now. Okay. Because Obama, he, he, he got his hands tied because of Congress and Senate. They wouldn't even let him pass a jobs bill. Going, so I'm, I want you to show me in this country where we have all the you. power going to one person. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Before you were even born. See, because of what you see right now doesn't mean that's not what it's going to be tomorrow. And since you're talking about Jesus, talking about even a farther generation on, but right now, even tomorrow, we're moving toward a one world government right this very moment as we're speaking, a globalized community. In 1956, since you mm -hmm. like documentation, mm -hmm. document this. Okay. In 1956, even Martin Luther King himself, in a speech he did called Facing the Challenges of a New Age, mm -hmm. December the 6th, 1956, he even talked about the New World Order. Mm -hmm. Quote, I wrote it down for you since you like this kind of stuff. All right, for sure. Birth of an age in which a new social order is being born. We stand today between, new, between two worlds, the dying old and the emerging new. So in order to cre create this one world government, you create chaos to bring about order, mm -hmm. okay? Quote, so the tensions which we witness in this world today are indicative of the fact that a new world order is being born and an old world is passing away. Mm -hmm. This was in 1956 before any of us were born. George W. Bush, in his speech, when he was talking about the illegal immigrants, he talked about the new world order mm -hmm. will be formed. You can take it voluntarily, or you can take it by force, but it will come of age. We talked about the challenges of a new age. The new world, we're we moving into a global, com, com, global community. community. Right. We see it all day. America's not even, we keep talking about Obama and America, we already, the North American Union, we're not even America. North American we have America. Mexico, Canada, and America already formed the North American Union. We have the May Asian Union. We have the African Union. Okay, but, and we hold but, it, and you have the European Union. This is what is going okay, to form let me, let me your new world, let the me, one world government. Let me cut in because, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to. Um, but I just wanted to clarify Alberta. that. Okay, right, right, right. But when I when I want to, because it, it sounds like you know the North American Union, whether it be the United Nations, that is still a decentralized government because what? you got, hold on, hold on, because you still got, whether it be Gorbachev or uh, Obama or, or, or Hu Jintao is still not a centralized power. Well, Alberta, see, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, how born I got to get Alberta in here. Exactly. We got to, see, we got to share the space. It's a democratic yeah. process. It's going to form into that one world person, though. So uh, that's a belief system, though. Well, it's, what's, what is, that's what the new world is going to be formed. Okay. One world ruler. 
Alberta, a belief system. Right now, facts. We're already we're we're already under the new world order now. Right, but I don't good. I don't believe that it is Bible prophecy because first of all, I believe the Book of Revelation is a plagiarization That's right. from the Sibylline oracles, and secondly, um, the Bible was invented by the Romans by a Roman a Roman elite family mm -hmm. in the first century, and you know. Well, you know, this Roman elite family also invented Jesus. That's mm -hmm. Jesus. Um, you know, and right now, the Bible is basically a book of myths. You know, it's a book of myths. That's what it is. And, you know, my honest opinion about this New World Order is that it was already in the making thousands of years ago. Right. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. And the Illuminati secret societies have basically been planning this thing for thousands of years now. Now, Pam, you, you said you agree, but however, now you're talking, you said, you said, first of all, you said things to come. Alberta just said that New World Morning was formed thousands of years no, ago. No, no, hold on. So for there's example. a contradiction there. No, hold on, for example, you oh. talked about Jesus in the one world. You talked about Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm just I'm, talking about, when, okay, when I say Jesus, let me just say, yeah, whether I'm, it be Jesus, what I'm saying is most religions have a theocratic mindset. OK, and, and whether you be a Christian or a Muslim, y'all come to atheists with a book and we have saying that book is fairy tale. It's like a comic book. So what we're saying is that can you bring us some substantial proof? It's like both you women been to college. When you get a book, you got to cross reference that book. I don't see no Christians cross referencing no Bible. Excuse me for a second. First and foremost, Everything that's in that Bible, because we, you told me don't even talk about the Bible, but yet you can't help but to talk well, about know, the Bible. Well, you know, it's a booby trap. You know, it's black atheists. What's so, okay, so, so the bottom line is this. What's in the Bible usually come to past in real life. For an example, in the Bible, it talks about the one world ruler. Mm -hmm. It talks, and even in Daniel, it talks about kingdoms merging together to become one. Way, way before you and us were ever born. Now, she just, now hold it. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to cut in. I got to cut in because you talk about that things already happened in the Bible. And every time people talk about the Bible, then they talk about things to come. So you have no show me, no proof of this one world government manifesting. No, see, there's So can you, can you name something just. I just did. I just told you. Name something in America that, that is major that I can find in the Bible. I just. Abortions. Abortions in the Bible. Mass murders. Mass murders. Oh, I mean, I, I, can't, I mean, I mean, come on, there, it's in the Bible everywhere. Now we, so we can stick to your subject. Mm -hmm. You talked about the one world government mm -hmm. because you wanted to use the example about Jesus being centralized. All I did was showed you where this new age, this new world government that they, like she said, been trying to come to pass for many years. We don't really know when it's going to be in whole full blown flourishing. Well, actually, it's when they. Well, when they bring about this one world ruler. See, we've been bringing together this one world government for many, many years, but we have not yet, yet brought together the one world ruler that would but rule this Alberta, world. Alberta, come on in here, because I still think it's a belief system. There is no one world ruler. How do you okay. know that? There is no one world ruler known as the Antichrist. Now see, I never said the Antichrist. See, no, no, she's no, no, but she, no, 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 hold on, let, let us finish. Because yeah. the Christ never historically existed as a human being, okay? So therefore, the Antichrist is also a mythological character. But she's thinking about oh, just, like, oh, just like the mythical Satan, okay? And so, therefore, I mean, well, right now, we're, like I said earlier, we're already living in the New World Order now. Okay. Okay. America is essentially a police state right now. Right. Okay. That's right. And as far as you're talking about biblical prophecies, well, you know, the Bible, like I said, was invented by the Illuminati families, by the Illuminati families. Okay. Now, whether you believe that or not, that's up to you. But I'm, t I'm telling you, the Bible was invented. So are you saying, Alberta, that they made a script and just making people go by the script, so then people like Pam would be like, oh, see, that's, you know, believe I mean, they're the script manipulating or... world events. Right. To go by the scriptures. Right, okay. so they write it and then they say, okay, this is how we're gonna do it and make it unfold. Exactly. So, right, because I know we know that 
it's a man-made book, right? So yes. that's one okay. of these things in the Bible. Now, listen to what she just said. They're mm -hmm. manipulated. Whether really really somebody dance. manipulated or not. Now listen to what she just said. Mm -hmm. Now even though I'm not agreeing with what she just said, 100%. Some of the stuff she said I agree with. But see, what she did, when I, what, what she failed to realize when we're talking about this one world ruler, I wasn't even talking about the Bible. I wasn't even talking about the Antichrist. But you're still talking about a, but no. you're still talking about a belief system. No, though, hey, I'm talking oh. about this. I'm talking about what I just read to you. Okay, what, what you read to me, you, some, some of the can, people can pass it off as conspiracy theory. Right, we can cut, pass it off as you know, conspiracy theory. Because as far as, this is the world that I see right now, right now. I see people like in China, who's Gentile, who's a ruler. I see people like in Cuba, Fidel Castro, who's a ruler. Barack Obama, who is a, I guess, leader, president, ruler, I guess you can call him a ruler, you know, uh, 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 the guy in Israel, you know what I'm saying, who told Obama to kiss off. So your evidence of a one, it's, I'm not seeing it. It's not a I'm not seeing it. It's you know, you got you Queen, of, hold on, hold on, the Queen of England. No, I'm just saying the evidence, the evidence which we like to operate on is not there in your favor. No, listen to me very clearly. It, it, let me ask you a question. Is, a, is this a belief that you have, or do you have facts to this is not. This is not even about me trying to push is a belief. Is this a belief? No. It's not a belief. You're missing so something. So then you got to show the facts. No, you're missing something very I'm clearly. I'm missing the facts. You're missing that you're talking I'm over me. I'm missing the facts. You, what you just missed was, if you want facts, mm -hmm. what you just missed was, what she just explained to you about an Illuminati, which I... I'm not even getting ready to get into right now because that's not your subject. No, no, we're going to get into that in Right, second. because uh, she right. keeps bringing it up and she's bringing up the Antichrist. And I never even mentioned anything about the Antichrist. I never even mentioned anything about no, the Revelation. Hold, hold on. I never even mentioned anything about the book of Revelation because I wasn't even coming from a biblical perspective. I wasn't coming from a religion perspective. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even coming from a social economic perspective. Mm -hmm. I gave you some documents that was written. Okay, about the new age, go pull it up. Okay. Project papers. This is a speech Martin Luther King did in 1956. Mm -hmm. There are documents all over everywhere about the new world order and the new age. They right, call it, hold saying, it, though, excuse hold me. On, hold on, hold on. But what I'm saying though, but you, you're missing my point. Okay, what's your People point? make documents every day. They sure People do. got documents about Spider Man, Superman, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. I mean, they got Steven Spielberg got a whole bunch of movies. This, I mean, are those not documentations I mean, of, I mean, those are, are fictional. Are. So are. my thing is that, again, I don't see any proof of this one world government. Okay, the, the reason you, that this reason in this date and time is because, the reason you don't see it is because you're blind to a lot of things that are happen, happening right around your own world. I'm going to leave it at that. That's why you don't see it, but just because you don't see it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it does not exist. That's well, all. I'm going to leave it at that I've heard right now. She talks it. about being blind. I know they're passing laws. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I am blind to that. You know, like the um, three strikes law, I was blind to that because I didn't sit at the table with these so-called officials that she wanted to vote for. Mm -hmm. And I am blind to the fact when they the stand your ground law. So, yeah, if I'm not invited to the table, yeah, I am going to be blind. So, what's your take I mean, on that? I mean, you know, like a lot of things, you know, a lot of laws they have passed under the public eye, you know, um, like... The After new, the fact? Yeah, exactly. So then right. we're all blind. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Okay. Like right. the National Defense Authorization right. Act. You know, they passed, they passed that law under the public eye. Right. Um, basically, the law outlaws protesting. Right. It is now considered lower level terrorism. Right. right. So, you know, even if I wanted to protest the actions of uh, a corporation, okay. I could be arrested right. as a terrorist. True. You know, mm. so, I mean, under that, that act, which was signed back in 2011 by and, President Obama. And indefinitely in prison. Exactly. Without trial. Exactly. But I can be detained right. and sent to prison without trial. Now, can we talk about some of the, um, what, what's the word I want to use, Alberta, when a person commits a crime, you have a person with them. What is that person Accessory. with them? Accessory. Accessory. Mm -hmm. um, I know you mentioned to me about some preachers yeah. being accessory yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah, um, back in 2006, um, Actually, FEMA hired thousands of pastors to help enforce martial law and to, and to teach their congregations to obey the government during seizure of guns, property, um, forced relocation, and also forced inoculations. Mm. So, you know. All right, because the Bible does teach, you know, to obey the government and, yeah, you know, exactly. what is God's Bible will. It does teach you to obey the government. At so, this, this, so a, this, that's yeah, smart yeah. by the government to actually go to the leaders of the congregation and mm -hmm. 
implement something that they already know that they will already basically be led by. Exactly. That's smart, exactly. I think. I agree. Exactly. It's very smart. But that doesn't mean every person is going to abide by what a preacher says. Well, like atheists. Right. right. You know, we're, so, we're not going to, you know, because we, we, we need some hard A lot of people do sell out. I mean, it's just common knowledge. People sell out for all kinds of reasons, you know, all kinds of reasons people sell out. Okay. I mean, that's a good point, but I mean, again. So don't automatically think that the Bible, because I thought you would stand off the Bible, but don't automatically think just because the Bible says obey the government, you're going to obey everything that the government says. It also says later on you're going to take a chip in your hand, and I don't think those, you're not going to, a person of belief of God in Christ is not going to take a chip in their hand, an RFID chip, so they're not going to believe everything that the government say. Some people say that to have an abortion, the government, or it's okay for bisexual marriages. They're not going to believe everything that the government says, so don't get caught up on that kick in that one Bible scripture. Okay. I mean, that's just, just a thought. That's just a thought. Just something that I'm throwing out there. Well, my thing, and y'all callers, y'all can call in, 770 uh, 559 Basically, so why I got on phone. the Bible is because it trains you into being in a centralized governmental state of mind. You know, it's just like, you know, I read the Bible and it said, you know, all shall bow before Christ and he shall be the government. I've read that myself. I've read it. And whether you want to call it metaphoric or uh, uh, however you want to call it, people take that literal. And I got people bat trying to bash me over the head with it based on their belief system, which is a belief system at the end of the day. You got people who are part of Islam. I mean, it goes on and on. I mean, people have been killed over Islam. Uh, Albert, I know you know about the um, the guy that got killed over in um, was it Libya? Yes, yes. You're talking about the American ambassador. Yes. Yeah, he was um, he was killed because of a, an anti-Islamic film right. that was produced here in the U.S. You know, and they they've been protesting over this film in Libya, in Yemen, right. Right. in Egypt. That's right. And quite a few U.S. embassies have been attacked because of this anti-Islamic film. Okay, so and, and also there are reports that the U.S. ambassador was dragged from his, his vehicle. Right. And he was tortured before they killed him. Okay, and, and that's why... So you know, based on these facts... Yes. Because, you know, I let people say that, you know, I'm blind. Based on these facts, yeah. this man was killed <laughs> based on a belief system, was he not? Exactly, he was. You know, Mohammed, their precious exactly. prophets. Exactly. And so you make fun of them, so we're going to drag you across and the street. torture you. And and torture you. you. Based on a belief. Exactly. On a holy exactly. book. Okay, exactly. I just saw right. I just, and, you know. and millions of people have been annihilated over Christianity, Islam, Judaism for That's thousands right. of years now. Okay, and yeah, the Illuminati secret societies created all three religions, all three. Okay, <laughs> so, you know. Okay. So, I don't yeah. disagree with her. You disagree? What do I you don't. disagree with? I don't. Oh, you don't disagree? No. See, there is something you... So you agree that the Illuminati created Christianity no, to control... No, hold on. The, that being, that's what hold on, Albert see, that's said. where we get confused when I keep talking to you about Christianity versus being a follower of Christ. Christianity being a religion, just like uh, Islam being a religion, and just like a form of your worship and tradition and your belief system. Okay, well, let me let me and interject you, one second. There's, there's a total different thing. Let, let me here. interject one second. You just said follower. So oh, you are saying that Christians are followers. So that means there is somebody dictating because you have these people that are followers. So what I'm saying as an atheist, as a free thinker, as a liberated person is that I don't need doctrines, I don't need holy scriptures, I don't need no divine to tell me I don't need to follow that. I That's have great mind. that you don't so, need that. Right, That's so what beautiful. I'm saying, oh great, right, so, so when you have That's followers, beautiful. it becomes dangerous because you have somebody at the helm writing man-made doctrines I, I, for I, people to 
follow. Do you not agree? I hate to tell you this. You're following the rules of Comcast right now while you're sitting here. You're following the rules of the United States of government while you're driving up and what, down. What, what rule am I while you're driving up and down the road every day. What, not what, if you what follow rule am I following speed, of Comcast right now? Whatever their their policies and procedures are. I don't you even can, know their policies and procedures. Well, you're fo you common sense. You know some of them. Come on now. I don't know any of them. Well, you better recognize what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any you're following, them. and every day when you drive up and down the streets of Marietta and in, in Georgia, you're following the rules. But the see, but, Hold on, I mean, let's, let's but, then, but see, these phones. are sensible rules. Like if if the light says red stop i mean that's common you know that, that that's sensible that is rational it's like yeah i do want to stop at a light because i don't want to get smashed by a semi it's so yeah why that's don't within you? reason well, why don't you want but if to get you tell smashed? me to believe in something that i, I don't why see, don't you want to get smashed huh? why don't you want to get smashed it's just life you're just going to die i mean what why don't you want to get smashed no what i'm saying why no, no, no. don't listen, you want to get listen, smashed listen. See, on, don't on, get caught on, up on these on, words hold on, hold on. no 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 I'm, I'm i'm trying to show something here. let's stick with our voting thing well, we on the second half. We're talking about the Illuminati now. We're not even talking about I mean, the Illuminati. Why, this why, ain't why even. She's this, ain't even so this ain't even what we're talking oh, about. I, 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 was a, I was a follower of Christ up until April 2011. Okay. Um, I realized after doing a lot of research that Christ, the Jewish Christ, never historically existed and that he basically was a continuation of earlier Savior gods that existed in the ancient world. Like um, Christus, that's a Greek word for liberator. It's not a name, it's a word for liberator. And the, the word Christus was already upon Greek inscriptions hundreds of years before the Jewish savior. You understand? So this Christian savior is not authentic because Krishna, the Eastern savior God, existed hundreds of years before the Jewish savior Christus. Okay, can I ask you a question? I, I ask questions. Okay. See, that, are we going to talk Christianity? Are we going to talk God? Are we going to talk well, 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 Because well, I don't on, really, on, that's on, the only reason yeah, I'm not yeah, getting on, into on. none of the scriptures. On, I'm on. not even going to go the there. The reason, the reason, I'm, I'm bringing it full circle. The reason, because you mentioned earlier that you want to have uh, representatives that you follow, you know, to represent you. And you mentioned being uh, influential by, the, didn't she not say churches and all that? So. Therefore, you know, you're violating the constitution of separation of church and state. So, you know, when you have people who, let's just say, always, now I always hear this, you know, this country was founded on God, but then yet people ignore the fact that Benjamin Franklin was an atheist, you know what I'm saying? And so he wrote the constitution in favor of all people across the board where we can all live together and we can all make democratic decisions. So I don't want nobody uh, in, up in office uh, basing their decisions on, well, some God that I can't see. I want to base it on us at the table. Like, I can see you, Pam. I can see Alberta. So I can sit here and like some human beings and we can talk about issues. I don't want to sit up here and pray now. If a person wants to do that, it's fine. I'm saying, I want to get things done here in I, Earth realm. I we got you. problems here. We got economical problems. We got people starving. We got, I mean, it, uh, police brutality. And I can't wait on no dang prayer to get these things done. I, I need the power of Alberta. I need the power of Pam to get it done. I totally agree with you. Okay. Now, the problem that I'm having right now is sitting at this table. Okay. Because you clearly told me yesterday, do not talk about the Bible. Do not talk about God. Do not talk about religion. Stick with voting and the Illuminati. That's why all these things that you all are saying, I'm not even addressing them back. And let you say what you want to say, let you say whatever you want to say about Christ, let you say whatever you want to say about God. I'm not even going to address it because I know the God I serve. And, and, and fine, number two, and, and that's, that's I'm fine. not even going to address it because I'm going to stick with your subject to make fine. sure we talk about voting. Mm -hmm. And you said you want to talk about the Illuminati. So I'm not even going to address anything about okay, well, let me ask Illuminati being set up by Christianity. You got and voters. That, and any of that hold stuff. on, hold on. You got voters, you know, talking about, you know, this is our country and God leads it. So you got people in politics trying to mingle religion. So I know, you know, Pam is having an issue with this, but this is the reality that we live in. We, exactly. li we live amongst some religious zealots. Exactly. And I see this as a problem, but they ignore the constitution where it talks about there will be no respect of religion, uh -huh. separation of church and state. What, what's your take on that, I mean, Because I know. Honestly, at this point, I don't think there is separation of church and state. I think that the government 
um, is, well, government officials use religion to cater to their base, their base, you know, to get the votes. Right. Okay, to cater to their interests, basically. Mm. They use religion. And the right. government used religion to also control the population. Okay? And so that's what that religion... So is that why they have the face, face initiative? Because they work hand in hand? Exactly. Is that why Bush came to visit uh, Eddie Long down here and back in, I think it was back there in 2003? Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. The government mm. used religion. Mm. I, I agree. Yeah, I totally agree with that. There is a difference in manipulation and religion and the spirituality of God and Christ. Total difference. Now, until you're ready to have a real show on that and don't scream and holler and debate, we'll talk about it. But today, I want to stick with your subject of voting and the Illuminati, which we haven't touched on yet. What is Illuminati? On why people don't vote and I mean, but I did talk things. about the Illuminati families earlier. Well, he wanted to go... I th well, when you start we're, we're asking me a couple, oh, we are? Yeah, we're talking about how the Illuminati and, you know. Invented the Bible. Invented the Bible and how they, they intermingle religion and government to basically control people. Well, I thought you were going to ask questions like, well, who are the Illuminati and where they come from and do well, they really exist? the question. Oh, well, okay. I didn't quite get the answer out of that, but. Would you like to repeat that, Alberta? Well, I heard her, no, but I just Illuminati. input some of my things in. I agree. Okay. Well, well who, is, who is the Illuminati? First of all, whether they exist or don't exist, whether you believe or not believe, whether it's a conspiracy theory or not. I didn't ask. I'm just not, asking you who they who I'm are. I'm just they? asking. I'm just talking to the general population. Okay, okay. General population. Yeah. A lot of people do not believe that the Illuminati exists. I have a friend. Uh, they told me that they were just some spook organization okay. that uh, controls the minds of people, that people are in fear of why they don't want to vote. But according to conspiracy theories and evidences that are seen in the real world, there is an organization that exists of some of the wealthiest bankers in the world that ultimately controls the world mm -hmm. through the media. Like Rothschilds. Uh, right. Um, the... Uh, Rockefellers. Rockefellers, some of the wealthiest people names that we... You got the Cheneys, we... you got the Bushes, um, now you're going to have the Obamas, you got the Clintons, we can go down the I don't think so. they really consist of the wealthiest. It's only like, and it goes through bloodlines. they are the wealthiest families on earth. Right, I don't think they I really do. Yeah, I, I agree uh, with that, Albert. I think they're, know. you know, I think, cause I, I think a lot of times we always look for the hidden hand, but then like, like police brutality. You know, people are talking about, oh, yeah, they're going to put us in death cans, this and that. But then I turn on and watch people get shot down like Oscar Grant in broad view daylight. You know what I'm saying? And Oscar, you know, I mean, I can go down the list of black males being shot down. And now black females being shot down. And it's mm -hmm. no secret. Right. Well, see, there's you know. a difference in when we're talking about secrets. We're not even talking about a secret right now because we do know that people exist and we know organ this organization Well, I, I, I disagree. I think when, when they pass laws, those are secrets. You know, when they, type, when they have laws set against, uh, uh, let's just say poor people. I'm not going to even say black people no more. I'm not going to say Hispanics. I'm just going to say poor, the 99%. Mm -hmm. They pass in laws, like Alberta has said, you know, you, you can't even protest. I can't even protest against Monsanto saying that I can't have seeds. Now I'm be labeled as a as a uh, domestic terrorist. Mm -hmm. But is it a secret if it's in a book and you can go pull it up on the United States Constitution? Is it a secret because you just haven't read it and you just haven't heard about it? Well, it's a secret because you read those things after the fact, after they put it in law. I'm talking about the things before it, it, it comes to the Senate, before it comes to the Congress, mm -hmm. before it comes on the president's says That's what I'm talking about. I don't read. I don't want to read things after the fact. Because we can read a bunch of things after the fact. I'm talking about before the fact. Well, a lot of laws are written, but before they're passed, mm -hmm. you have lobbyists up there all day long voting for. You have people voting mm -hmm. against them. Just like the health care bill, before it was ever signed, mm -hmm. tons of people demonstrated and protested against it. There are a lot of laws that are written before they're signed, so then, people protest against them. Okay, you make a good so point. So we may not we, know about it. How them. do we, okay, so how do we get to know about it? And how do we get in that process, the beforehand process? That's what I want to You have to get engaged. Just like right now, you have okay. to tune on to Black Sun TV show. You have to tune on black, to Black Giddy. Atheists. 
Yeah, okay. you have to tune on to uh, Gideon's TV show. You have to come to the Coalition of the People's Agenda. You have to go down to the state capitol mm -hmm. on days that they're uh, writing laws. You have to get engaged. Okay. You know, sometimes you turn on YouTube, but everybody knows you can't believe everything that you see on the internet, mm -hmm. but you can become aware of some of the things. But you really have to make a conscious decision to get engaged in the process. Well, see, that's why I like the system of cross referencing. You know what I'm saying? If, usually, if I get some information and I can't cross reference it, then I disregard it like the Bible, like the Quran. Alberta? You, you I mean, I don't think, honestly, the common people, you know, um, has any power, real power, mm. when it comes to stopping what these Illuminati secret societies are doing in terms of passing laws. Right. I don't think we really do have a lot of power to stop them. And I mean, really. I mean, like, for instance, 9-11, okay. okay, there are so many theories surrounding 9-11 right. that basically they, our government was behind that. Right. And basically what they wanted to really do was pass Homeland Security. That's right. That, right, they did, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was on the table years before the Homeland Security Act was passed, it was already on the table, but at that time it was not passed in the House and in the Senate. Okay, mm. so 9-11 happened. Okay. And what happened? They passed the Homeland Security Act they in did. 2011, I'm sorry, 2001. So you create a chaos in order to bring around order exactly. and laws. Okay. This is why in 1960, 1956, when Martin Luther King did his speech, it was called Facing the Challenges of a New Age. Mm -hmm. And he gave some principles in how to overcome some of these challenges of this new age, this new world Can order. We get one of them? Yeah, one of the challenges was he said, a new age brings about a new challenge. One, there is going to be a world of geographical togetherness. Okay. We must come together. As we come together as a people, we can unify it in strength. As you were saying, as a common person, don't have power. But in reality, if common people come together, okay, you, you make, can have, just like... You're making a very you, good point. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask Alberta first, and I'm going to ask you. Okay. Alberta, does religion divide people? Yes, it does. Okay, now let me ask you. Does religion... Of course it does. It does? Yes. Does spirituality divide people? It could. It could? Yeah, if you try to impose your spiritual beliefs on somebody else because spirituality in a relationship with okay, one. Okay, let me ask Albert the same question again. Does you, spirituality divide people? I think people? spirituality divides people just like religion. Okay. okay, I mean, I think spirituality at the end of the day is still a belief system. Mm. Okay. Okay. But at the end of the day, everything is a belief system because you have to believe that your car, when you go outside, is getting ready to start. If you do not think your car is going to start today. But you're comparing something that based on proof, like I can go to my car and look at something physical as opposed to what you call a spirit, what is spiritual, what is no, that? Like see, people say the, spiritual, I don't know what that is. That's the but problem. But I know what a car is, I know what, what a key is, an ignition is, I know what that is because I know mechanically how it works. So I'm basing my belief based on proof that I have before that I've started my car see, every day. But see, you know what that, I'm saying? So it, it might be that one day that it might not start, but I know based on my actions that I go and turn this key based on the evidence before it started before. Mm -hmm. Now, when people say, oh, spiritual, I don't know what that is. Well, that's a, you, just gave your, you just gave what spirituality is based on evidence of an experience over and over and over Okay, and so over what again. is your... So that's, so you just said, you just gave it yourself. That's when you use that Wait, word. Wait, you're talking about something physical uh, compared to... No. You just, I, you I just said, asked... You just gave it. You spoke it out. You get you spoke it yourself because okay. I was trying to give the example of a car. If mm -hmm. you go outside every day, mm -hmm. and that car starts every day, automatically you're gonna believe that but you're going. But it's based on knowing. Hold on, but it's based on knowing. It's based Hold on, on, can proof. I? Can it's based, I, based on proof, though. Okay. That's what you're missing. If you're not gonna let me finish, you're not gonna know what I'm gonna say because you keep cutting me off. Now let me finish, please. Can you? Okay. Now let me say this because that's where proof comes in at. Like I was gonna say. If you go outside and you start your car every day, you don't worry. Mm -hmm. You're laying back because you know you're going to go outside and your car is going to start. Now, if you go outside tomorrow and the car don't start, you jig it a little bit, huh, the car is going to start. But if you go outside for a whole week and okay. that car don't start, hold on. Again, you're going to begin. I'm going to show you how spiritual, knowing. I'm going to show you the same way that spirituality works. Let me show based, you. Based on Pam's definition no. of spiritual. Well, you, you're asking me. 
So okay. it's going to be based on I'm Pam. trying to – see, that's why when, when I just asked the question – hold, 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 hold. That's why I was making a point about it divides because – your definition of spirituality is surely different than anybody else's definition. Because I don't, I can't get a definite definition. But I, I know if I say Alberta, if I put a key in ignition and turn it, she will say yes. We can agree on that. You know what I'm no, saying? We can. If you put the right key in the car and you turn it and the battery is fully charged, we can agree based on knowing. But when you talk about spiritual. You give one definition, another person, okay. there, is no, there is no concise definition. I'm trying to, that's why I try to explain to you, spirituality is individuality. When you come to learn the spirituality is individuality. So individual. then if it's individuality, then you can't unite on that because everybody has individual thoughts. They, you know individuality, saying? I just told you before I started this conversation, spirituality is individuality. I just okay. told you that. So therefore, your spirituality is not going to be the same as my spirituality. Therefore, oh. you should not expect the same definition. But I was trying to show you how spirituality works with proof, but you can't stop talking in order for me to get that out. Hold on, Faith, let, me, let, me get, hold on. let me get let me get yeah. Alberta here because she's looking confused over there. I'm just, you know, I'm wondering, like, okay, is it really true spirituality if you believe in a mythical deity? I mean, like, really? Is it true spirituality or is it just religion if you if you're a follower of Christ. Okay, let me, you, wanna, you want me to answer that yes, question? Yes, yes. Let's go to faith. Faith. Okay. Because so you start off by giving definitions. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give a definition. You're gonna get Paul's definition? So whoever's definition is, it's a definition. I know, I can, I can define it right now. Faith is based on no evidence and no proof. That's just to sum it up. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For an example, I can take this apple seed that sounds like trickery. Hold on. Right? The apple seed doesn't have the tree yet, but I can put that seed in the ground knowing that if I do the correct things, this tree is going to groom just from an apple seed. Now, see, okay, you can see the apple saying. tree in this seed. 770-559-2999. Y'all got to come in and help him out because no. I'm having a hard time understanding this spirituality thing and this Holy, and I'm having a hard time. I'm not comprehending because I'm not seeing any I'm a, tangible, physical evidence. I'm gonna ask you a question. I got a seed. I got an apple seed right mm -hmm. here. Can you see the apple tree? Yeah, within that apple seed, yes, I can. But there's no. It ain't proof yet. If yes, I don't plant it in the yes, ground, that's the question. See, yes, that's it the is. key. I can see it. You know why you can see it? Why? I have a seed here. It's not an apple tree. I have an apple seed. See, now, how can you see this apple tree? I'm gonna show you. Because you know you. that I put the seed in the ground, and based you. upon, but you believe, see, no, you automatically, no. see, see, you no, don't no, want no, you no, just no, don't no. want to accept the no, fact. No, no, see, you didn't, you didn't say what size the apple tree. See, I see that seed, that apple within that seed, but it's real tiny. It's part of that seed. Now you're trying now to Now you didn't say, no, 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 no. You just said, do I see that tree? I do. Now I don't see a full-blown tree, but I see a piece of that tree. But you see tree. a tree. The, all I need to know is, do you see a tree? Yeah, I see that tree within all right, that apple. Yes, yeah, that's the same way faith works. You don't have to see it, but the evidence will come from that no, seed. No, I disagree because I see that seed. No, That's the definition. I have, to, I have to see to believe. I, okay. I can't rely on faith. See? I relied I on faith. I, I, I relied on faith for many years, and faith got me nowhere. I prayed right. to a That's mythological deity for many years and thought that he was hearing my prayers. Okay, I thought that he was hearing my prayers, but it turns out that he doesn't exist. So how well, can how he, how know, can he hear my prayers? But I'm just ask you one question. I mean, I'm how just do you saying know? But I just that the biblical you. Christ is a figment of man's imagination. Well, let me just say this. That's all I'm saying. She, well, hold on, no, 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 hold on, come on. Because Alberta is speaking from a natural, like if you look at a squirrel, mm -hmm. you know, because you know, I know in religion now, they, they teach that you walk by faith, not by sight. Okay. Now, you ask a squirrel to do that. A squirrel, they look at food, they look up, look for food, look up, you know what I'm saying? A deer, they looking up, so they have to survive based on sight. Mm -hmm. And, you're, and, you know, you know and, and I hear people asking me to not go by sight, which is something that's natural, not only in, hold on, hold on, not only in humans, but okay, let's, let's get that call. Yeah, call her. Call her. How are you today? How you doing? Okay, that's cool. What I'm saying is that I can't agree with something that takes away natural senses of a living being, whether it be a living being of a squirrel, living being of a human, because we all, you know, have the ability to just be alert. And so 
if you write something man, man, made by man, and Alberta just explained to control people, so you asked me to dull in my senses, and she's got the documentation of them working with the pastors, knowing that these people are going to have their natural senses deferred. So my thing is that I can't, I can't get with... Now, what I'm saying is that now, for the people that want to be walked by faith, that's cool. Let's get that caller. Caller. Sean, how are you today? I'm Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, this question is to the lady to the left with the locks and yourself. Sister Alberta? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. You say you don't practice um, any type of religion or you believe in a deity, but my question to you is who created the human beings? Who created human beings? I think that we are evolved human beings, I think that we, evolution. I, I don't think that we came from apes or monkeys, but um, um, evolved, I think we evolved as humans. Can I, can I answer the same question? Okay, so you also mentioned earlier about the Bible was created back by the Illuminati. Yes. But if you should know, if you did your research, from Genesis to Malachi, it's the only original Bible. From Malachi, the New Testament was created by the Illuminati. Yes. So what is it? Okay, so. So you did say it, yes, right? Yes. I mean, so I, not the entire the Bible. The New Testament was created by a Roman elite family known as the Pisos. But from Genesis to. Deuteronomy, it's the truth. No, it's not, ma'am. Those are. I'm not going to argue with you. Those are not. Those are not true stories, especially the Adam and Eve story, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Those are all mythological stories. Um, definitely, um, the Book of Proverbs is based on ancient African proverbs. Also, those are not. Those are not true stories. Well, I can't listen to her. I listen to you, ma'am. Okay. What did she say? Yeah, what? No, there's another lady on the phone talking while I was trying to talk to her, to listen to her. Yes, uh, I said that the Old Testament stories are mythological stories. Um, the, book of, the book of Genesis is myth mythical tales. They're mythical tales. Um, the book of Proverbs is based on ancient African proverbs also. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah are mythical stories. Um, the Adam and Eve story all So you said we, we are involved. Say what? Say that, say that again, ma'am. Okay, what I'm not going to do, y'all are out of order, and y'all, see, I'm trying to talk to you, and you got somebody on the phone, just keep interrupting, so I cannot hear you. Well, you got to turn your TV down, ma'am. Yeah, turn your TV down. No, my TV is down. No, so okay. Somebody that on the background that took the call is talking. Okay, all right. Um, having technical difficulties. Okay, okay. now... She just said that um, that is her truth, but you just mentioned that these were, um, I know you got documentation yes. that they were, I know the Tammuz is one of them, you know, these ancient scripts, they, yes. they were plagiarized. Yes. So, you know, um, Alberta, why is it people have a hard time understanding that this is a book of faith? Because I know the pastors say it all the time, it's a book of faith. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble here. <laughs> How they trying to make faith and evidence, hardcore evidence, proof, you know, and faith. They're, they're, they're two different things. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Why don't you ask the person that believes in the book? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask Alberta, then I'll ask you. <laughs> you know, I mean, when I, was a, when I was a Christian, I believed the book of, I believed the Genesis account. Um, I believed every book in the Bible when so I was a Christian. So you believed it to be true. Yeah. I believed that everything in the Bible happened in reality. Um, and... Of course, I found out later on in my life, um, after so many years of you know, spending time in Christianity, that these stories are mythical tales, like the Adam and Eve story, the story of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right. all are mythical tales. These are non-historical figures, really. Albert, you okay. mean to tell me Moses yeah, didn't park the Red Moses Sea? never existed historically. He didn't park the, the Red Sea? The biblical Moses never existed historically. <sighs> 
the Bible, I'm sorry, the Bible. I know the Bible has a few historical figures mixed in with the non-historical figures, okay? I know that. But Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, Mary, Ishmael. <laughs> none of these individuals existed as historical figures, okay? Pam, I'm gonna ask you just a simple question. Is it a book of faith? It's a book of knowledge. No, I, 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 just, I just one day, one question. Is a book of faith? I can't necessarily say it's a whole book of faith. So you're saying there's some actual proof in there? Yes. Number one, let me. Can, I want to. So say can something. I? Can you present the proof? Yes. Actually, hold like on. maybe some. Just, just the same way that she just got through saying that the book is a book of fables. None of these things are true. She speaks as an oracle scholar as if she has proof to be able to disprove these things. Mm -hmm. See, when she can stand firm on what she believes, because she truly believes this. Mm -hmm. Not that she knows this. Well, actually, I have she, done a lot of research. Research? She read a papers. Lot of research. She read papers. She I've read, okay. and the I read same. quite a few books. Because, right. because uh, you sit there and told me when I read a document to you, 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 okay, you, but, but you read it Pam, to you with that sentence. Hold on, hold on, Pam, Pam. All that Alberta is doing is the same thing that y'all learned in college. When you take a documentation that's written by man, right. whether it be documentation that Alberta was written by, by man, or the Bible that was written by man. 300 gay men, but that's a whole other topic. It doesn't matter. Council and I see it. But the point is, I'm making is that she is cross referencing them. I haven't heard She's just not going by one source. She just said she gave you the ancient okay, text. Okay, let me tell you something real quick. You know, so you just said, now you just said here that the Bible is a book of faith. No, hold we, on. We can agree on that. Let me, let me explain something to you. I agree with you on that. Let me tell you something really, really quick. You Number one, down. this Bible, mm -hmm. we know and understand, has been translated mm -hmm. by many men. Okay. Just like many of these other books. Now, if you really look deep into the most read, I'm going to just keep it, I'm gonna keep it simple. Was it written hated, by men? Yeah, it was written by men. Okay, all right. It was written by men, just like that paper. So, so written like, by men, inspired by God, right? Right. So how do we measure this inspiration? How do we measure that? Truth. truth See, like the only thing, only thing about truth is laws. Spiritual laws cannot be changed. Okay, let me ask Alberta the question. See, how do we measure I this? I can't give you an answer that I, you I, like. Because you, like, you, you jog and you doing, I, I'm like, I mean, is, simple. Is the show for the people? Is the show for the people? Is the show it's only an hour show. But is the show for the people? It's only an hour show. I'm trying to get just precise questions, you know? It, you, I'm, just, I'm trying to get, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get precise questions. Now, <laughs> you don't Alberta, how do we measure this inspiration? How do you measure that? How do I measure the inspiration? You mean the Bible being inspired by God? Yeah, if, I, if, I, if I tell you right now that I don't believe in God, how do you know I'm lying? <laughs> I mean, well, I know, you, I know you're lying because, well, I've done research, you know, so I can pretty much refute what you're saying just based on the research that I have done. Right, so then I'm saying, look, I'm writing this right now. Let's get that caller. I'm inspired by God, so how do you verify that I'm being inspired by this God? Is well, I, I'm I can't to... really verify it. Really. Right, so, okay, so how do you verify the, that? The, 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 the really good can't. in you. See, because God is good. Because God is okay, good. Okay, so which God are we talking about? Right, you know, myth Ra. Which God are we talking about? I'll I'm tell Ra. you in a minute, if he ever give me a chance to talk. All right, let's get this caller. He don't want the truth. Call it. That's, that's my question, is why would you allow Pam to answer the question? You cut her off every time. Because Pam is long-winded. <laughs> that's why. She, she like goes on and on. I'm trying to just get precise well, questions. She never, but, she, she, I mean, she, she never has... Ha just give her the chance to answer the question. But okay, question how, okay, is, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask her this right now. We're going to close out. Pam, how do you measure this inspiration? It's simple. It's simple. Through okay. God, through godly works. Okay, I don't believe in God, so how do you well, measure? Well, because because you're an unbeliever, you're never gonna understand. It's just okay, so unbelievable. she just summed it up. You got believers and unbelievers. You can't come together on that. So let's come together on mm -hmm. proof and evidence and uh, working with each other. Okay, so we will see you next week. Peace. I'm out. So, studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm.
said it myself right out of the book. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show.